Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to SciWire. I had a few questions about the, uh, the little machine behind me here uh, from a few of my viewers. Uh, mainly it was just simply uh, how am I actually taking care of the nutrients that goes within the reservoir? Um, first thing is you have to understand that the, that a, the plants have really three, three phases of growth. You've got your seedling, um, vegetative growth stage, and of course your flowering, budding, or, or, or budding or uh, fruiting stage. When a plant's in the uh, vegetative growth stage or the seedling stage, um, you're really not going to be using your floor bloom too much. So you hold off on that until you get right about to the bloom stage, the fruiting stage, or, or whenever you actually want to produce anything. Um, but your macro, your floor macro and your floor growth, uh, these are your two base until you, you decide to start flowering. Um, when a plant is, well to give you an idea what a plant looks like in the vegetative growth stage, um, and that plant right there is still in the veg, just getting into the vegetative growth right, uh, right past the seedling stage. As you can see, I've got tons of basil, so um, I'll be making a recipe. The plant uh, gets past the vegetative growth stage and ready for it to flower. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the lights down to about a 12-12 or 11-13. Or uh, you're going to give a little bit of a shot there in the beginning. Um, sometimes I even cut off the lights completely for the first day and then uh, break it into a 12-12 routine. Um, it pretty much flowers all the time. Uh, any fruits, anything will, will have the same effect. Um, when you start doing that is when you're going to back off on this. Uh, this is your floral grow, and you're going to move to your floral bloom. Um, at all times, uh, you'll always be putting your floral macro in this, ma micro in this. It's what's going to be using the most. Um, I'm going to zoom in here and give you a close shot on these. These are all general hydroponics. Um, I actually just got these in the last order. Um, a lot of people have been asking me where I order my stuff from. Um, since I don't have any sponsors just yet, uh, when I did make this order, this company actually ended up forgetting something within the order. But uh, to make it up for me, uh, they sent me this shirt. Now, the, the place that I order from is called Horizon Hydro. Uh, they are excellent. Their prices are very competitive. Uh, shipping's fast, and, and most importantly, they're they're very kind when you call them on the phone or, or have an issue with them on the internet. But uh, they did me very well, and I'm sure they do you guys the same way. Uh, no, they are not my sponsor, but hey, you know, look, I am looking for sponsors. Um, let me get you in close here uh, to actually see what we're going to be using. Uh, that way, you can order a little bit better on the internet. Now the website, by the way, is um, hydro, www.hydro.com. Uh, guys, go to them, they, they will definitely help you out. Uh, the floral macro that you're gonna be ordering looks exactly like this. It's the macro bloom, I mean, not the macro bloom, but the floral macro, and this, it's by uh, General Hydroponics. Uh, the reason I chose them over the rest of them is the powders you gotta mix. Uh, they're really easy, they go in, they, they do go kind of fast, but uh, that's all right, they're not that expensive. Uh, the bloom is this one here, floral bloom. General hydroponics. And the floral grow. And once again, the floral grow is for the, seed, the seeding and the, uh, sorry, seedling and the vegetative growth stage. Floral bloom goes with the name when it starts to bloom, flower, or fruit. And the macro goes in all the time. Uh, What's great about this company is they actually do a real nice diagram back there on the back to tell you how much you should be putting in at any certain time. It is very important to, uh, to add this to water. Don't mix the chemicals uh, together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you down here. You're gonna see my five gallon bucket. Um, I'm gonna put in exactly what it says for per gallon for my macro. And since, as you can see, everything back there is pretty much in bloom and fruiting all the time, I'm gonna go with the full uh, floral bloom just like it says on the back. Uh, I always add just a little bit of floral growth because I do have some, you know, a couple seedlings in there and, and also a couple of vegetative growth. I don't want to cut them out of their, their nutrients, but uh, I don't make this too much here since everything's really in bloom and it, it does seem to go, go fairly easily. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add in your floral macro. Uh, the reason you want to add this in first is you want it to mix with the water before you add either of the other two. And that's just the sequence you always have to go in, whether you're in vegetative growth stage or whether you're in well, as you can see, I've actually got my five-gallon bucket right there, and that's what I'm going to put everything into. Uh, first things first is you always want to start with the floral, floral macro. Um, the reason for that is, is simply it uh, has to mix with the water first before you go ahead and put in anything else. So this is what you want to put in first and get it mixed up really good. 
Um, what I'm using to actually to measure it with is just a simple milliliter measuring device. Oh, I can't get my camera to focus here. Yeah, well, simple. It, it, mine's five milliliters, so it's a little bit of pain in the butt to go back and forth. So I'm going to cut the camera off while I do this. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click exactly what it says on the back as far as the full macro to go into my five gallon bucket. Right, next, we're going to end up putting uh, the floral bloom in, uh, just like I said before. Uh, mine's pretty much everything is in the blooming phase or, or flowering phase, so what I'm going to end up doing is, is putting, just like it says on the back here, probably won't be able to get it focused, but just like it says on the back is the measurements that I use since everything is in full bloom at this point. All right. I'm going to add this in here. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of floral grow. Uh, this is because I do have that uh, one or two plants in vegetative growth stage. Um, I'm going to add about about uh, five milliliters, uh, maybe ten milliliters. That's about it. So that that's maybe enough for um, for one gallon, and I'm going to put in a five gallon jug. So that'll dilute it quite a bit. But still in between each time you put the, the nutrients in, one thing you do want to do is make sure it's really mixed up. Um, otherwise, it'll it'll affect itself. But definitely the macro first, the bloom, then the floral grow. Uh, mix each time. When you're actually growing any kind of tomatoes or or any kind of heavy uh, fruits or vegetables or mostly vegetables, especially tomatoes. Um, one thing you do is you add a little bit of extra calcium. Now, I didn't have any calcium in the house, so um, roll eggs. That's right. Everybody's got this. Uh, calcium, magnesium is what helps uh, really go for the plant. And as you can see right there, that's all that's in it. Calcium, magnesium, and, and peppermint flavoring. So uh, that is how I use extra, or how I add extra calcium. Well, that's it. Uh, I hope that answered your question. Um, like I said, it's really easy. And, uh, the main reasons why I chose uh, this particular kind, which is the, uh, the general hydroponics, uh, is really because of the ease of use. And uh, you know, anytime you can do anything as efficiently as possible, uh, it, it makes it a lot easier, or lazier, or however you want to call it. Um, but also, these help do, these do help uh, keep the pH down. Um, when you use the powders, stuff like that, you have to pre-mix. Um, sometimes you can get it wrong, overdose. This you can calculate everything perfect. You know, mixing the waters, everything's pre-mixed. And, and uh, well, it works out very nice. I hope this works as well for you, as me. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, you can link to my website right over here. Over here. I forget which side it is.